Hello, Eric Schell with WTA Tags. Today, we're gonna briefly discuss the upcoming Montana elk and deer application deadline, which is April 1st. Montana has a very intricate and oftentimes confusing system. Arguably, it's one of the, uh, one of the states we receive the most questions pertaining to in our office. We're gonna to try to simplify that today and give you an understanding. Montana's general elk, deer, and big game combination licenses are allocated through a very predictable preference point system. These combination tags are broken out into three categories, all pertaining to the same preference point. If you purchased a point last year, it can now be applied to one of the three, either an elk combo, which is good for one general elk tag, a big game combo, which is good for one general elk tag and one general deer tag, or a deer combo, which is good for one general deer tag. Again, all of these pertain to your preference points. In Montana for 2024, applicants applying with one point will not draw. 2023 was a shift and applicants drew at a zero point level for the 2023 general combinations, regardless of what license type they were going after. Going into 24, we're gonna see approximate 80 to 90% draw odds on the elk and big game combos with two points. And on the deer, we'll probably hover around 70%. If you want to be in the 100% draw pool and you have one point now, you will have to be contracted with an outfitter that would allow you to then purchase two points prior to applying in 2024. The general hunts across Montana truly are remarkable. The opportunity out there for sportsmen in Montana to hunt elk and deer is immense. Regardless of your physical capabilities or limitations, there's most likely a hunt for you. Be it on the western portion of the state, in the big mountains and timber, or the eastern side of the state with rolling hills and grasslands, there's an option out there where any sportsman can go hunt Montana, enjoy it, and have a high likelihood of success. That covers the general side of the Montana draw. This is where it starts to get confusing. To draw a permit area for elk or deer in Montana, it is now a two-part system. You must first successfully draw a like license for the permit species you would like. If you want to draw an elk permit area, you first need to draw an elk or big game combo to enter into the subsequent permit area draw. These permit areas are allocated through a bonus points system, meaning if you have five bonus points, those will be squared, giving you 25 names in the hat, plus this year's point, giving you 26 names in the hat for potentially drawing a tag. With a system like this, it is never a guarantee that you will be drawn. It is very predictable though, in a sense where the odds start to go to 40, 50, 60% with an increasing number of points. Typically, I will tell people to be prepared to apply for three years in order to receive the appropriate permit area. This is a much better mindset as it allows you to draw these tags more often on years four, five, and six of applying as opposed to waiting to get into the 90 plus percent pool at 10 points. Oftentimes you can draw these permit areas two if not three times if you're lucky by handling it in this manner. The overall deer herd health in Montana is like a lot of the West. The mule deer are suffering. The great part, the state of Montana is taking necessary steps to turn this around. They have cut down doe tag numbers, they're cutting down units where does are allowed to be shot, and they're trying to restrict the overall harvest in certain areas that have sustained a bigger loss of deer numbers than others. There is an end in sight. Montana deer hunting can come back. The habitat is there. And historically, Montana supports some of the densest mule deer populations across the West. It might take a few years, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. One of the unsung heroes in Montana is the whitetail hunting. It is truly remarkable. Not only does Montana have the quantities of deer like I have seen in very few places across the US, 
but the quality is unbelievable. These areas are paradise for Pope and Young archery hunters. The sheer number of 130 to 150 inch bucks on these big ranches will blow your mind. If you are an engaged whitetail hunter, be it archery or rifle, you really should consider Montana for a future option. Within Montana, the archery hunts take place in September, which will not interfere with the Midwestern seasons if you're after the rut. And many times they can be coupled with other activities such as fishing or prairie dog shooting. It's just an all around appealing fun trip for quality animals. Montana does offer rut based deer hunts for the whitetails like they do the mule deer. If you are a rifle hunter looking to hunt the true heart of the rut in November when the bucks are on the chase, it, it's one of the very few states that offers this unique hunt. It shouldn't be overlooked. They are in high demand. Give our office a call and we'll be more than happy to talk through these. There are a few left for this year. Otherwise, we'll be looking into 25 and 26. It is of our opinion that the real gem in Montana is the permit area elk hunting. Many of you at home have often overlooked Montana as a more of an opportunity state, let's call it. And people see Arizona, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico as the true trophy states. This is true in many circumstances, but the permit areas of Montana will rival the greatest elk units across the West. These ranches are large contiguous properties where the elk are managed and looked at as a resource. Here, bulls in the 320 to 350 plus class are the norm. Hunting pressure is low, physical ability needed is low on these hunts as well. If you don't get around like you used to, but you enjoy chasing trophy bulls, Montana should probably be the number one must go to state on your list. The Montana elk permit areas are divided into two categories, rifle and archery. The rifle tags in many circumstances are gonna take a lifetime to draw in the state's most coveted areas. But there are a multitude of areas that can be drawn realistically with four to seven points. Thus, there are options out there. These are not bad hunts. They are also big bull hunts. And again, they oftentimes take place in areas that are quite easy physically by elk standards. Your days of hunting good bulls aren't over. You just need to adapt your mindset and Montana is the place to do it. Any and all engaged archery elk hunters need to be chasing these permit areas in Montana. Regardless, if you're looking for a more affordable hunt in that seven to 8,000 price point, or you're truly looking to put the, the trophy of a lifetime on the wall, WTA has you covered. When you're looking at the archery areas, it is very realistic to draw if you apply on bonus point years four, five, and six. There are areas that can be drawn with zero and one point, but they will not fit for everybody. If this is of interest, please call our office and speak with a consultant. We will be able to ask you the questions, figure out the necessary requirements on your behalf, and ensure that you're going on the right hunt this fall. Again, April 1st marks the deadline to apply for Montana general combos, as well as deer and elk permit areas. If you have questions, please give WTA tags a call. April 1st will be here before we know it, and we look forward to assisting you. We can be reached at 800-755-8247. Happy hunting.